What is Upling My Couplings? As I'm sure you're already aware based on the title, thumbnail, description, and characters on the team, this is the Swords Only account. And as some of you probably forgot, but today is National Punch the Purple Puppet Boy Day, so we will be trying to make our way through the entirety of the remaining Scaramouche Nahida Archon Quest stuff. So just like me, feel free to grab yourself some popcorn, kick your feet back, and enjoy! Except my feet are not kicked back and I don't have any popcorn. And you know, last time I asked you guys if you preferred hot dogs or hamburgers and surprise Surprisingly, we had a lot of answers down in the comments, so let's keep this dialogue going, except moving into the condiment realm now. Are you more of a ketchup connoisseur or a mustard maniac? What am I going to do with this information you ask? Honestly, absolutely nothing. I genuinely couldn't even tell you why I'm asking these questions in the first place. I just remembered, isn't NyQuil Girl coming in the next banner? That's great because we actually do have about 400 wishes ready, if you just take the square root of those 400 wishes. But we can just ignore the math here. I mean, that NyQuil girl is the one who goes to university, so if anyone should be doing the math question, it's her. There we go. Daily commissions out of the way. Resin is... well close enough to being spent, which means it is time to once again resume this quest right after I tell you guys that this video is indeed sponsored by Genshin Impact. Now perhaps some of you are unfamiliar with Genshin Impact, so allow me to show you some gameplay. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the showcase of some of what Genshin Impact has to offer. Big thanks to them for sponsoring us, and now back to the video. It was brought to my attention recently that this is another ka situation, where at first glance it appears they are some sort of animal-human hybrid, but at close examination, you could see it's just a hairstyle or hair accessories. I have been bamboozled once again. Next, someone's gonna try and tell me that Amber's bunny ears aren't actually bunny ears. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, just a wild guess. Absolutely no logic behind this guess whatsoever, but I think it's that dude. I think he's the guy we're looking for. We're like lambs to the slaughter, huh? You know what's kind of weird about lambs is lambs and sheep are essentially the same thing, but as soon as they are one year old, they become a sheep, and before that, they're a lamb. And as we know, the traveler is well over one year old, so if anything, they should be calling me a sheep. Which actually makes a lot of sense, because the traveler's always doing whatever anyone tells them to do as if they are our shepherd. Do these people really think that they could take us on? I mean, yeah, they could just flick Paimon and she'll probably be down for the count, and as long as we don't fight in a cutscene where we're forced to only use the dull blade, we'll be fine. But this girl is more built than all of these dudes combined, with the exception of only the one dude in the back wearing a shirt four sizes too small. Okay, but you see, when you say let's teach them a lesson, that's a grammatical contraction for let us teach them a lesson, and I have a funny feeling there's not gonna be an us here. Oh look, what, what happened to us? This is me? Instead of let's, it just should have been let you, because let you take care of them is what you meant to say. You know, it all goes back to earlier when I said I had the square root of 400 wishes left on the account because we just had to deal with some more radicals. Wait, wait, hey, wait, wait, she's taking credit for us. We just beat those guys up and she's saying how strong she is. I can't believe this. Do that one more time and I'll skip your banner. Well, if you told me that in Genshin Impact, I was going to be exploring an abandoned hospital, I would have thought you were lying to me. But in fact, we are going to investigate an abandoned hospital. I didn't even know that there were hospitals in this game, but I guess this is where you come if you don't have a Kokomi on your team? Paimon, shush. He's literally standing four feet away from you. You don't have to scream. Oh, ooh. Wait, look at that. Look at that time is just advancing through a very brief cutscene rather than me having to stare at a clock. Why doesn't that happen more often? So it has just come to my attention that this whole video so far has been recorded with none of my normal microphone filters on. Somehow my hardware just decided to Thanos snap all of my filters out of existence. That's great. I cannot wait to try and fix all of that muffled audio now. But hey, if you didn't notice anything, then that means I did my job well. In case of emergency, contact the physician on duty immediately. Well, if you insist. Hey, physician, see, I saw your notice in the abandoned hospital. Funny story, don't ask how I got down here. It would appear that my bad luck in the game has somehow crept out into my real life as well. That is not okay, and if you could somehow reverse these effects, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, for the next region in Genshin Impact, how about this? How about this for a story? Allow me to propose you an idea. Imagine we get there, and all of a sudden, the Traveler and Paimon are separated for the entirety of that Archon quest. 
lost. I mean, what a shame that would be, right? I'd be truly heartbreaking. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. On my main account, maybe I will pull for you. That is one of my favorite sentences I've ever seen a character say in this game. You know, I'll hate them's kind of growing on me as well. He's the kind of character that's always five steps ahead mentally, but also just seems very relaxed about the entire situation. Like he was just told that he could be killed and his response is, oh yeah, that'd be pretty bad luck for me. Wait a minute. I think she's been hanging out with Sino for too long. She was about to have her arm cut off and then she makes the joke, but sometimes when you're out on a limb and a limb is, you know, an arm and her arm was gonna be cut off. It would appear that I have to delve quite far into the desert for this. And on this account, I have not yet explored the desert much. But through the power of editing, we have arrived. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, we actually get to see her fight. Use the vision. Use the vision. You all have visions. Use the visions. I find it funny that the only person who seemed to use any sort of power was the dude who didn't have a vision. The one guy using the Dendro Archon's power is the one who doesn't have the Dendro vision. Oh no, is this a puzzle? Now, there is this, which I'm sure is supposed to give you a hint, but I also could just keep clicking until it does something, which is precisely what I intend to do. Yep, see, perfect. Who needs to use their brain when you can just mash buttons? Wait, I just got an achievement. I don't know what I did though. Do I have to kill these? I'd really rather not. Yeah, we had to kill them. Wait, wait, this doesn't do anything. That, oh, wh huh? What? Why does it only work one out of 50 times when you click it? Okay, well, how about this? How about that? Okay, it doesn't work. So I guess I just wait for the elevator to come back down? New plan. This. I don't think it's going to let me do that. What if I get crushed by it? Does that work? No. Here we go. Here we go. Round three. Gotta work this time. Or not. I can't wait to see the comments of, oh my gosh, how did he not figure it out? It's so obvious. The thing is, I don't know what I'm supposed to be figuring out. There is an elevator. That you can only wait oh well you see there was a red herring in the room there was a button on the floor which activated the elevator so i didn't think there was going to be another button on the elevator to activate the elevator let's just all agree to never speak of that moment again what's funny is when they put actual puzzles i just mash things and it works but then they have an elevator that's not meant to be a puzzle and i somehow turn it into one. Oh, okay see here's an actual puzzle why did that just spin oh they're just they're just spinning turn off what did that do? What did I turn off? This? Did I turn that off? That's kind of what I wanted to do, I guess. And then I just wait and then turn it off. And then I just wait again. And eventually this one should spin and become blue. And then I just win. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was easy. <gasps> no, no, I didn't want to go down. Do you see what I mean? I'm better at solving puzzles than I am at operating elevators. Is this bringing me all the way back down? Oh, wait. Never mind, I was supposed to come down here. I knew that the whole time. What did you just say to me? <sighs> Thank you! Yes! Another character that tells Paimon to shut up. I think the Sumeru crew are becoming my favorite group of characters. I still find it so funny that they refer to it as canned knowledge. They really just make it sound like something you could walk into a supermarket and buy off the shelf. Like, oh, today's a sale on canned knowledge. Buy one, get one free. Okay, act four is done. So I assume that the next one will be the last. And it starts out with waiting until the next day. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I guess if I have no other choice, then I'll just, I'll just have to go along with it. I am speed reading through this dialogue right now because I want to get to the fight so badly. I still want to know the story, don't get me wrong, but I want to get to the fight. You guys ready for this? This is going to be the most exciting part of everything that we've done today. We have to wait for two whole days. 
Isn't this riveting? I can't wait until I'll hate them is playable because I would love to have him on this account. I really want more Dendro application besides just the traveler. Oh, a sneaking mission. Always a treat to do these. They just told me to get closer to see what he's doing but they want me to go this way. And, I mean, maybe I'm crazy here, but this seems like it's further than where I was. How did he see us? He's got the mask on. Whenever they say everything's fine, that is not the case. Oh, would you look at that? Something bad's happening. It's almost as if everything is not okay. From the sounds of it, we might be approaching the end of the Archon quest. Or at least, I like to think that we are. Because again, I really want to fight this boss. Please, just a Paimon mute button is all I'm asking for. Wait. Huh? I just had to go back and replay the footage to make sure that I saw that correctly. There was a little error in the writing here. Obviously, I'm playing as Lumin, but in that dialogue that we just saw, they referred to Lumin as he. Obviously, that was just a little mistake, but it's always interesting to find those little mistakes as you're going through. Oh! Wh we spoke? What? <laughs> I'm so not used to hearing the Traveler's voice. Wait a minute, is the Traveler actually using elemental powers? And talking? Is this the same Lumine we've been traveling with throughout the entire game? Ooh, Nahida revenge arc. I'm ready for that. That sounds fun. I think that's the most I've ever heard the Traveler talk from the entire game combined. Do we actually get to see another whole dance performance? I did not expect them to do that. <laughs> Oh, what is this? Excuse me? Is this Walmart Nahida? But- Wait, no, no, I, I didn't click run out, I clicked wait for a good opportunity to run out. And then little Walmart Nahida just took that as- Oh, I'm just gonna go now. See? See, look at that. Find a good opportunity to dash out. That's what I hit, and then they just bolted. So is this where we get to fight Scaramouche? It's gotta be sometime soon. Wait until- Oh, uh, waiting? More waiting? When fighting? I want- I have to wait like, what, 10 minutes? Okay, an hour. Not even a full hour. Wow. Oof. Okay, we ready now? And we just go back exactly where we came from. What is that? Oh, that's the thing that we use in the Scaramouche fight, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry, Nahida. Fighting is my forte, as long as it's not in a cutscene. If it's in a cutscene, I almost always lose. Should I have brought an actual, like, strong- team in because i could have just brought ayaka oh hello don't don't mind me i was gonna say i do kind of wish i brought ayaka in here not gonna lie not really sure why i didn't i think i'm just so used to dendro not reacting with cryo therefore me not really using it on this account at least not recently but for instance this dude is gonna take a while for us to beat down i was not expecting this place to be this big is this all within the giant tree oh How's it going up there, dude? I'm a little curious if I could just cheese this system slightly. Because a lot of the times, as long as you get close enough to where you're supposed to go, even if you fall down into the void, it'll spawn you Oh, I mean, that works too. Oh, well, I guess he'll go down instead of me. Let's see if we could do it again. Over here. And then we glide. Oh, maybe I could land on this. Oh, I can. Let's see. Can we get up? Oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This time, I know the hidden stra- Okay, I might have misclicked. Third time's the charm. You see, we go here, and we wait. And then, we go up here, and we glide to where we're supposed to be. Because why would we do the domain the way that we're supposed to? You know by now that I don't do that. Oh, that looks like an elevator that's going to bring me to a boss fight. I've seen a few elevators in my day, and this looks like one that goes to a boss. Sounds to me like it's boss time. All right, what's in store for us here? What do you know? It's the balladeer. I, I still don't know if I agree with the becoming a god is just controlling a giant mech. I could just imagine them trying to build this whole thing and being like, wait, 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 I, I know that, that we're like building a new god and it's kind of an evil plan, but we got to make this thing look good. Like we'll have golden accents, we'll have little gems hanging down, some nice giant ropes that don't really serve a purpose, but it'll look so menacing. At long last, I believe it is time to begin the fight. So now how the heck does this work? We have this little friend 
friend here that has a charging symbol, but I don't, I don't know how to charge it. Uh, we have different elements on the ground. Oh, we can pick them up. Okay, cool. I can do that. Oh, ooh, one more over here. Oh, no, it's gone. Never mind. And then I'm guessing we attack. Maybe. Am I doing it? Am I winning? Excuse you. What is this? What, what is standing here do? That's fire. No, I don't want to be set on fire. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to hit your hand. That's right. No, no, that's not the hand. I'm sorry, my Kaching never studied her anatomy. Although I guess I could just attack the main body because somehow we can reach from here. Interesting little attacks you have here, sir. So what does picking these things up do? Wait, I could press T on it. And then it does something, I assume. I wasn't able to read the text that popped up before because I was busy dodging attacks. So I don't really know what I'm meant to do here. I'm just figuring it out as I go. I think I can do that. Yeah, okay, that seems good. Activate the other electro, oh, the other, okay. Um, I kind of can't right now, hold on. G give me a second, almost, wait for it, okay, boom. There, I did something. And now we just do very minimal damage. And then we rinse and repeat. Here comes the flamethrower. Very nice, very nice. We dodged that. Okay, I don't think I really dodged that. Ow. Definitely didn't dodge that one. Uh, boom. Do that. Take that. Take... Oh, that's wind. Wait, I could fly. What is the point of this? Why, why do I want to fly? Clearly, I am just acing this. I know exactly what's going on. Ow. Okay, don't do that again. Do I only want to hit the electro ones? That's what it seems like. The others don't do anything. So now we do that and then we keep... So wait, wait, what's the point of the other ones? I failed to understand. I wonder if you could just ignore all of this and if you have enough damage, just attack it directly. I kind of feel like you could. Oh no, it's a cutscene. That means we're going to take a lot of damage. Lumine is not good at fighting in cutscenes. Yep, and there she goes. Can you imagine that's the second time the floor has just been broken out from underneath? Her. So now we go to round two, where he has legs. How good they fully heal my entire team. Ooh, whoa, 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 watch it. You could hurt someone with that. Is this just directly attack now? No more gimmicks? Because that little pet is still following me. No, there's more gimmicks. There's always more gimmicks. What are these? What do you do? Uh, no, that, okay, that's a very large radius. Oh, okay, they're just bombs. I feel like Electro was the worst element to bring in because it kind of seems like he's Electro. Ayaka, I need you. Ayaka, I can't do anything here. I do zero. I actually just do zero to it. I suppose, oh, hello, Gilgamesh. I've still done no damage to this thing. <laughs> Get sucker punched. I'm telling you, Lumine sucks at fighting in cutscenes. It's gotta be that dull blade. It's holding her back. All right, Nahida, it's time for your revenge plot. You might wanna get that started. Okay, the revenge plot doesn't appear to be going very well. Ooh, I like that animation. <laughs> Wait, I just realized the mech still has a giant hat too. I still feel like the cutscenes are the best part of this game. I cannot wait for the Genshin Impact anime. Also, I mean, it goes without saying, but the music is so good here. Oh, I mean, I, look, look, Nahida, I would love to use you here, but you're kind of a Catalyst user, so I'm gonna be relying on the Traveler for all Dendro application. Also, it appears like I could just run around and do nothing while this thing keeps shooting. I just have a little turret. That's great. Okay, look, Scaramouche, pick an element if you're gonna become an Archon in this game. You kind of need to pick one element. You're kind of trying to control all of them. Not not sure if that's the best idea. Oh, ooh, aiming mode. Wait, where'd you go? You, sir, fall. That is still such a cool looking attack though. When he becomes a playable character, can he still have- Oh wait, no, I want him to have that attack too. That's a pretty cool looking- What am I- Destroy these? Okay, I can do that. Okay, okay. Is it time? Wait, what am I doing? Use- Use what? Use the special features of four leaf sigils. Uh, okay, these. I forgot that they were even called four leaf sigils. I thought they were just grappling hooks. Ow. No, 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 I'm so close. Please. Please, just let me finish you off. You're so close to dying. You know what? I don't need to go through all that again. I could just keep hitting you, right? Surely I can. Or I could probably just let the little turret attack it. It seems like it's gonna do enough anyways. How sad that you want to be a god and you'll be taken- That reflection looks so cool. But you're taken down by a mere turret? Unfortunate. Or are we gonna have another phase after this? Seems like he's not done yet. The Gnosis. Is that Raiden's Gnosis? You know, I almost do feel bad for him though. Oh, I thought that Lumion was gonna catch him, but I guess not. Put that dull blade away. Not like it's gonna do any damage anyways. <gasps> wait, can I give it back to Raiden? She would love me forever. Actually, no, wait, she got rid of it. Never mind. I forgot that she didn't want it anymore. Giant floating ship, of course. That's what I expected to see here. I don't have to kill these guys, right? They're fine. They're not really posing much of a threat. We can just continue without killing them. Probably not, but that's what I'm gonna do anyways. Just a bit of this, that, 
And we're good. Glad I did bring Kaching in here though. Kinda just lets me bypass all of this, which is fantastic. I must say, Ayaka would have been a much better character to bring in. Cryo seems like a very valuable element in here. Am I done? Oh, no. Okay, he fell off the side of the boat and apparently decided to respawn instead of just dying. And he fell off the boat again. But that time he died. <laughs> okay. Now oh, we're back at the tree. Long time no see. They've taken away my sprint button. Why have they taken away my sprint button? So if Irminsul is connected to all of the ley lines across Tevat and it's been polluted this whole time, then if we clean up this pollution, does that mean we can get some better drops from artifact domains? You know, we can clear out all that pollution of the garbage drops. I feel like this is the first time we've seen a character actually cry in this game. Oh, is that the doctor again? I'm sick of seeing that guy. <laughs> Let me guess. You're gonna ask for the Gnosis. Oh, what did I say? That's all these guys ever want is the Gnosis. I, I mean Gnosis. How dare I pronounce it correctly? I might be completely misremembering, but at the start of the game, when we encounter the unknown god or unknown goddess or whatever she was called, didn't she say she was the sustainer of heavenly principles? And I feel like that's right because I have watched that cutscene way too many times across way too many different accounts. They just dumped quite a lot of lore onto our laps. So what happened to the balladeer? Did he actually just run away? You know, I kind of expected the quest to end after we took down the balladeer. But now we gotta go out and check if everyone received their letters. I'm sorry, who was that person? Who are you? Hmm. I'm gonna say polearm. Wait, why is Kaching glowing right now? What the? You see that? What is that? Am I just even more powerful now that I've taken down a fake god? And of course, we gotta end it off by waiting another two days. I like how from waking up in this inn, I had PTSD from back when we had to do the first part of this quest, and for a moment, I thought that we were back in the loop, or that all of this had just never happened and it was just a dream or something. Luckily though, that's not the case. I still wanna know what happened to Scaramouche. I know he's gonna become a playable character soon and we don't know what happened to him. Yes, tell me about the balladeer. He's still in a coma. Ah. So next up is Fontaine, the Nation of Justice. Will we finally get our Hydro Claymore user? And with that, I believe the Sumeru Archon quest is complete. I got a silver twig. I'm assuming that's just a random item in my inventory and not something I could do something with. Yes, indeed. Well, I suppose that means it's time to wrap up this video as well. If you enjoyed, feel free to press that like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below, and let me know what you thought of this Archon quest if you have already done it on your account. I am curious to know your guys' opinions as well, but with that being said, I will see all of you guys next time.